Welcome to Leaves, where we learn IT from a certain guy called Shakespeare. Right, uh, today we're going to look at the if function and we're going to focus on this table. We're going to focus on this table. So it's colored in that color and it's saving borders like that so we're going to look at the if function the if function is used to check a condition and give a certain value if that condition is true it will, the, the if function also gives a certain value if the condition is not true or the logical test is not true so here we're going to type the, fun, uh, the, the, the function All right the function here we're going to use it to display the result the result of uh, a certain student's mark here we do have the mark so we're going to put the result as a fail or a pass a fail or a pass so here we say equal sign since we are typing a function which is a formula we say if if what now this is the syntax here we put the logical test. This logical test is either true or false. Here we use the comparison operators, the ones that we used previously in um, in uh, comparison operators. Right. So the comparison operator that we are going to use here is what less than less than fifty. So here we say if the mark in C30 we say if the mark in C30 is less than 50 we put a comma so if it's true that the value in C30 is less than 50 then this is automatically a fail but you can just step in but actually you can right i'm supposed to say fail in there otherwise and the person is passed so what are we saying we're saying if the value in c30 which is this one is less than 50 then it's a fail Otherwise, the, uh, the person has passed, so we say pass. Right. So what we are saying is, if this condition is true, we take that value. So this is the value if true. This is the value if true. So if this is false, we take the pass, which is the value if false. And here we press enter. So this student has passed. We do auto filling to see who passed and who failed. That one failed, that one failed, that one failed. And here are the students Martin Shetter, James Milner, Kuvundu Tsavanu, Store Onion, Mosala, Uanuanu Vunduka, John Jason, Tino Nakandi, Miranda Mimi. Right, we do have these students with their marks out of 100 and their result right so here we do have uh, one condition and two <laughs> outcomes which we choose for one depending on the condition right so what uh, what are we going to do if you want to determine whether the grade is an A, or it's a B, or it's a C, or it's a fail. What are we going to do? Right. So what are we going to do? What we are going to do here is that we are going to type a formula. We say if or say. We say if. We say bracket. 
we put a logical test if the mark in uh, c30 if the mark is in c30 we say c13 is less than 50 then this person has failed so we want we just want to put an f and then we close that now the mark is not less than 50 but it's above 50 is it an a or it's a b or it's a c how are we going to decide we say if this condition if this condition is true it's an f if this condition is not true then we need to check again we put another logical test so we say c13 less than less than um, 60 then let's say what that's a c otherwise we don't know whether it's a b it's an a we need to check again so we say if again we put a logical test this is c30 less than much 75 so if it's less than 75 it's a what it's a b if it's not a b definitely it's an a so we don't need to check we just put an a there so we, na we now need to know how many brackets did that open one two three so i need to close those three brackets one two three and press enter there in a appears auto filling a a a a f and all, all those uh, symbols all those symbols start to appear in there so this is how we do it but now what if i enter a value which is less than which is less than zero or i enter a value which is above 100 we need to validate that so what we do is we say if a value if value in that so we need to put an n and here a n d we put a bracket and here we put a bracket so this is a logical test we are saying if the value in c3 is less than 50 and the value in c13 is greater greater than zero then it's an f otherwise that otherwise that otherwise that right so we say if the value in c13 is less than 50 and the value in c13 is greater than zero then it's an f right that's how we apply the if the if function we do auto fill we are done thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it uh, the next video is about creating the pivot table please subscribe so that you don't miss out new videos goodbye